another. So this is my last day in Orlando, in Florida. Well, this is my last, like, night. Night. Full cool day. There we go. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be meeting up with Bear, who is the co-host of Indigathon. So we're going to talk and have fun, and we're going to be doing some browsing, and we're going to have a good old time. Um, so I kind of want to show you, like, a little bit of what's going on. Um, I have pictures that are interwoven into this, so editing Shello is going to have so much fun dealing with that. Um, also, big thank you to Margaret for helping me with the camera because I have issues. Um, okay. They did that, buddy. That is not on you. That is true. Okay, so this is, hopefully you can see what's, what's what. Don't mind me. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, okay, this is the light. I can go with this to ending, Ha! Yeah. So that's where um, Bethany's sleeping. And then we have like a little space for editing and things like that. Margaret like, really likes that chair. Um, we have a fridge. And we I have all of our... Fridge chair. You like in there. It's right oh, there. Only because that's where I can sit at a desk. Yeah. So... And then we have this fridge. We have all of our snacks in it. So um, I'm really happy because uh, Bethany got some almond milk and I found out I really like it. Which is good because uh, if you don't know I'm lactose intolerant and um, dairy milk hurts my tummy. So um, <laughs> then this is my bowl. Wait no. Is this my bowl? It is a bowl. I think it's my bowl. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I got some. <laughs> I got some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We also have some amenities down here. You can make coffee if you want to. Or whatever tickles your fancy. And 
We also have the microwave. And Bethany helped me pop popcorn last night because I was having difficulties. So I got some popcorn and I got some Oreos. And I haven't even opened these yet. So I'm obviously taking those with me. I don't even care. <laughs> they probably carry on. Yeah, they'll probably take it away from me at some point, though, because I don't know how much snacks you can have. I have no idea. Okay. Screw Yeah. Fuck them. Just kidding. Anyway, so I have a, my suitcase, and I'm going to be putting some things in here to ship because I know for a dang fact that all my shit is not going to fit in here. So I also have a backpack that I'm taking as well so I gotta pack that up at some point but that's when I'm done um, right now we are actually doing some bullet journaling we're gonna be watching Doctor Strange tonight and having some snackaroos and it's just gonna be a good old time it really really is um, Margaret is so creative I'm gonna step over here you can step over here Margaret is not I don't know what about this says Margaret is creative right now I'm just testing pin colors that's still creative <laughs> look at all this so, and shorting, shorting, sorting out the washies I'm not going to be using, I think, I think, I think this is I mean, we got a whole setup with, like, battle paper and speckles and everything. Yes, we will, we will show you, ow, that was my ankle. Ow. Um, we'll show you the finished product. Yes, we will show you when that happens. Um, Margaret showed off her haul, and I, which I will be showing you as well. And so she, yeah, we both got the same washi tapes. <laughs> so she's gonna have fun with that. Yep. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing now. So, and then this is where I'm sleeping. Look at this. Like, what is that? A mural on the wall? Yes, I, be I believe it is what you would call a mural. But, I mean, it's probably some really fancy ass wallpaper. I know. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is probably. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's wallpaper. Yep, it's, it's wallpaper. wallpaper. Okay, it's, so we like got a, it's probably like a big old thing that they made because I don't see any obvious seams. This is really weird that I am looking at this. <laughs> it's okay. This is how you know how comfortable we are with each other because there's my snackaroos and her snackaroos. So, and then I have my speakers and like I got some headphones because I wasn't able to listen to music on the plane and um, I'm not going to be able to do anything because... Um, uh, what's the word? Oh, yeah, uh, we're gonna be in the dark uh, while we're flying and then I got my new tarot deck, which I'm gonna sit down and sh sh finagle. See look at this. This is mine. This is all my shit. See, I don't even I don't even spare being messy and I got some stuff down there. So I'm gonna set it up and show you what the hell's going on. Margaret's my spot check. Yep, you're good. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Margaret. You're welcome. Snaps from Margaret. Okay, so here's my little haul of everything that I got. I know that I didn't show you any, like, major shots of, like, going to places and videos and stuff like that. That, you can actually see me appearing in different vlogs from Margaret from The Word Nerd and Bethany from Beautifully Bookish Bethany. So definitely check out their content for um, seeing me in little clips of things like that because um, this month I am a co-host for Vaultathon and so you get to see me in a recommendation video and then um, I think we did something for Bethany. You'll see me in a vlog somewhere. Um, I'm not all too, I wasn't all too worried about um, appearing or like doing a ton of stuff because uh, while I also love giving you content, I also want to be able to enjoy my experience of being here and being in this beautiful climate and seeing my friends and visiting and doing all of those great amazing things and kind of like staying in the moment so if you wanted to see stuff and you didn't get to see stuff like that other people usually do I'm sorry um, you're just gonna have to take yeah. it or leave it you're just gonna have to deal with it um, if you, and I will try to give you some shots of Sioux Falls uh, since I don't think I've ever filmed anything in Sioux Falls, um, I'm definitely going to be including little clips of like the plane clouds and um, coming down and hopefully I will be able to, if I look at for my other phone, I will be able to get some video clips of me coming into the airport or something like that. Obviously I try to look out for not only my internet safety but other people's internet safety, in which case I will not be showing you like a clip of me meeting up with my husband or with my son since I like to keep their internet 
privacy, all, you know, and they don't want to be in the internet, so. So, without further ado, I'm sorry that the, I gave you like five minutes of, okay, let's see the stuff. <laughs> 30 seconds. He was 30 seconds. That's true. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm just edit this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to edit it out. It's in. Damn it. It's here. Oh, no. It's fine. No, this is what I want. I want to I want to film my true authentic self, not something that I edited out. So This is true. She is very, very much like she is on her videos. <laughs> See you say that, but I feel like I'm so much more reserved on my videos. Or like I mean, in person. You're definitely a little bit um I don't want to say less guarded, but like there's obviously stuff that you're going to be more comfortable sharing in person than you would on a video. That's very but, true. But like, personality-wise, you're exactly how you are on the internet. <laughs> okay, you've heard it from the source. <laughs> I think you're the source. Well, you're the other, you're the, you're the person to back it up. You're my, uh, my I'm, I'm the objective observer. There we go. I was going to say, I was going to say, um, my, um. I had a word. That was a yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, I do that too. My accomplice. There we go. Oh God. What are we doing? What shenanigans we're getting into, um, you'll be able to see on the vlogs. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get into it. We're not going to do this in any particular order because I don't care. Um, so we're going to start off with this dice. This is a green and black, I believe, from Chessex. Um, I'll have the link down below. Um, what color is this? Ooh. This does not come open very Oh, there's a sticker. Ugh, I hate stickers of this type. Let's see if this comes out. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, no. I didn't make it over. <laughs> it says jade and gold, but... Oh, yeah. The paint is in gold. Okay. Okay. So, hopefully... This is what it looks like. I'll try to do a close-up shot here. Okay. When I say shot, I mean close -up. So, yeah. I really like them. Also, it, re it reminds me of the, like, black and green magic deck that I have. <laughs> me and Margaret played on Friday. I included a photo somewhere in this vlog of that. Um, she kicked my ass. So, at some point, I'm sure we'll rematch... You just Before got a the... terrible hand is all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And then next I have is this $3.99 American Crafts Rainbow Stamp, <laughs> which I am pretty excited to have this. I like stamping like envelopes and stuff like that. Um, if you're a pen pal, I'm so sorry. I have not snow mailed you in like forever. Um, I plan on doing that a lot when I come back because I still have to pick up some postcards and some Disney merch and things like that because I wanted to look for some for friends. Um, next we have is this day-to-day -day Maggie Holmes crate or stencil. Um, I mostly got it for the stars and the hearts um, and this sun and um, I don't really record temperatures but there's also a crescent moon so um, that can be like some witchy stuff in my bullet journal. And then also we have a photo and this, oh yeah, that's why I got it, the little shopping cart. So then I don't have to draw a shopping cart. I can just use a stencil because I'm lazy like that. All right, I'm going to try to keep it to the crafty stuff. Okay, next I got was actually from Bethany. I got this beautifully bookish Bethany um, bookmark. So, I mean, obviously at any time where I can have a bookmark, I'm going to use it. And then we have some stickers. Um, which, if you notice on Margaret's vlog, we have some similar stickers. I got these floral recollection stickers. I don't even know if you can see that, but whatever. Um, they're florals. Then we got some hearts. And we also have some rainbows. So that's a good time. Next we have are some stamps. I like to use these in snail mail letters and also I really like the sunflower and the rose and then I also like seeing which like what I can copy for like punk postcards because I was like coloring different things. Next we have, oh here's some more bookmarks. This one I got at Books A Million. This one is a crescent 
like this is the moon moon phases in foiled gold so that is nice um, and I love that there's a ribbon on it instead of a tassel which this from Barnes & Noble is actually a tassel one this is um, baby Yoda and um, the tassel fell off so what can you do next we have are these washi from recollections I didn't even open this but I should oh there we go it came off really well um, when I'm in Sioux Falls I'm not gonna go to Michael's I'm just gonna go to a bookstore because I still have to buy fire and I didn't want to buy that here I wanted to buy that there and I was thinking of getting in the ravenous dark and six creams and cranes but also if I don't get it I'm gonna see if they have it at my library when I get home I'm going to raid my library I don't even care I just got a bunch of books here but I'm going to my library too because <laughs> there's some contemporaries I really want to check out now um, so we have this diamond um, turquoise diamonds I'm gonna put the ones I don't use as much on the bottom then we have these iridescent diamonds well they're more like gems gemstones diamonds I don't know then we have this like really pretty bluish turquoisey tealish color I don't know put those in there then we have we'll, we'll use the best for last we have like these stars and this it's it's oh and there's like a pattern within a pattern neato so we have that we have this one that says um, give me some space shine on and moon dreamer which of course we all need some space mm -hmm. um that's Thank actually you. that's actually mine and margaret's favorite thing right now is like we go and we have all this fun stuff and then we come back and we decompress because having your own time and space to do things is really 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 important mm -hmm. and if you don't get that mm. you get you get anxious which i was anxious yesterday but i'm okay today today has been really great Next we have are these moon and this like if you move it it's like iridescent -y. Um if you are on this right now and you want to see some of these washi tapes a little bit closer uh, you can always message me and I'll kind of show you what I got. Then we have um, this galaxy themed washi tape as well and my favorite this very itty bitty teeny irid iridescent strip washi tape. I love iridescent tape. I like plain color tapes and things like that. So yeah, it was only $11, $11.99. So I consider that pretty good considering the fact that I have a lot of washi tape that I don't use <laughs> as it is. So that's a pretty good price. Um, next, I did get a new mask. I got this one. Um, I'm not going to be wearing this one tomorrow, but I will be wearing this one like in the future. Uh, so this is like this really cute like checkered plaid and then there's a purple inseam and lace um, straps. And I think the reason why I'm not using this on the plane is because I don't think they, I don't think they accept the lace on the plane because I remember seeing a thing like that they don't want. They don't want it to be lacy on the on the face, but like I'm just gonna be safe because I have another I have another mask stored away for tomorrow. And then we have a very roomy scrunchie. Whoever whoever made these, like whatever company made these, they did right by making this one like super big. All right, next we have some more pens. Ba bam. So we have this gray, it's a dark gray uh, zebra mild liner. We have a marigold highlighter. I gotta test this. I still haven't tested it out, but it looks pretty. Um, the original set itself is like 20 something and I'm gonna get it at some point. I'm not in a rush. Um, I just wanted the colors that more so like stood out to me. And then this last one, which is a lavender. Then I have a size 10 Jelly Roll Sakura um, pen, size 10. And then I also have a Jelly Roll Metallic, which I have a gold, I had a gold one in my big set. Okay. 
it's gonna be fine it'll be fine all right so we have this Ahsoka Tano um, keychain and now we're gonna get into this tarot deck that I got it is Wildwood Tarot Wherein Rhythm Resides by Mark Ryan and John Matthews with card illustrations by Will Worthington. And there was a girl at the store, she was checking out the psych department, like the psych books and things like that and some other stuff. She was super duper nice. Um, she also had a really cute outfit on. So, um, you know, why not trust a perfectly random stranger to pick out tarot cards for you? But she said she had done it, she, had, she has this one at home. So, um, I thought it was a good idea. And plus, it's the, the artwork is really pretty, and I really enjoy it. Um, there's some other decks that I like there, but I figure if I want them that badly, then I'll just order them online. So, then next we have was the first book I got when I was traveling. I got this in Chicago, and this is The Heart Principle by Helen Huang. I already read this. I read it on the plane, and then I finished it on, what was it, the second night we were here? Something like that. Yesterday, right last night? Did, no. Right before I did, like Thursday night? No, Friday night, because Bethany was here. Yeah, we finished this, I finished this on Friday night, and um, it is a five-star read. It is about a girl, Anna, who, um, she's a musician, and she meets um, Quan. There's like some shenanigans that happen in between, and also some very hard topics. So, um, I will give a full review on this at some point, just not right now because I don't have my, like, my notebook or any of my supplies with me to like write down what's going on. So, you will have to hear me talk about this at a later time. Also, I wrote some really fun annotations, which Margaret had a lot of fun reading. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to look at the other books that I got. Uh, we got Lindsay Sands, The Highlander Takes a Bride. And Margaret, uh, not Margaret, um, no. Bethany no, it was the one that suggested this based on some of the things that I like in romance. And usually when Bethany, like nine times out of ten when Bethany says it's good, it's good. She also recommended some other books which will be somewhere in a um, future video since um, I'm working to, up to making some more videos and making more content. So you will see when you see it. The others, I got a series, um, since I will be reading these with Bethany for the next coming months, um, we're going to be reading The Fellowship of the Ring first, and then I also have The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien, and I'm going to be probably having some interesting discussions on the book and also probably some parallels between fantasy and um, some of the some of the structures that are set up and like how it relates to me and things like that. You know, fun, nuanced discussions that I hope to have. The next we have is Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller and... <clears throat> oh, I didn't realize that was... I thought that was a sticker. Oh well, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, apparently this is super devastating and sad. But I've been wanting to read this for a while because I did see it on BookTok, but also because friends recommended it and I know people that have loved it and enjoyed it and it's tragic and sad, but you know what? We are here for the sad girl hours. Why not? Just why not? What else am I doing with my life? Raising a child. There you go. The next, next we have is The Intimacy Experiment by Rosie Dannon, and this is the author of The Roommate, which I read back in like April. I gave that a 4 stars, but it was more like a 3.5 stars. I still really enjoyed it. Um, so this is about another one of the characters that um, was in The Roommate, and I love, 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 love when books tie in different characters from different series, so I'm excited to read this. Um, not sure when I'm going to get to it, but I will get to it at some point. Then we have the Guided Tarot for Seamless Readings by Stephanie Caponi, A Beginner's Guide to Card Meanings, Spreads, and Intuitive Exercises. Um, if you didn't know, I actually am like a practicing like baby witch. Um, I don't really talk about it a whole lot on my channel because um, I'm more concentrated on like books and crafts and things like that right now. 
um, also because people tend to be like mean and judgmental and I don't feel like sharing that part until I'm like fully confident of my empathic witchy stuff so the, I'm excited to read this also my sister-in-law is into um, stuff like this too so we're gonna have fun talking about it and the very last but not least uh, we have the Beautiful Ones by Silvia Moreno Garcia and um, this is within my friend my little friend group um, this is like one of our favorite books and I have not yet read it so I am not turtly enough for the turtle club just quite yet so I can't wait to read this at some point I have a, some amazing books to read but do I want more yes am I going to get more also yes so that is the we're gonna we're gonna do an obligatory holding like holding up things is this gonna work probably not Am I going to tip shit over? Probably. You got this. Yeah. I got muscles. You got this. Maybe. Alrighty. The obligatory photo. Let's get that over. There we go. Ha! Huh? So, fun times. Fun measures. So that was that. And then we have some crafty stuff. And some bookmarky things. And like other stuff. Alrighty. So that is the little bit of the haul that I have. Um, I spent a lot of money on books. I spent a lot of money on eating food. Some of it was yummy. Some of it was not that great. Some of it was okay. But I did have a really good time eating Culver's with Margaret today. Um, and I got a cooler, which is probably the last time I'm going to be able to have a cooler before the end of the lemon ice season, unfortunately. Um, so hopefully when I get back to South Dakota, I can have one in Cul um, at the Culver's either in the mall or on the way home or whatever. Hopefully they still have them, which if they have them here in Florida, chances are in South Dakota they probably still have them, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's that's it for me, and I'll show you what else we're doing later or whatever. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doop. Florida. Um, I'm going to be meeting up with Bear uh, at some point today and um, Bethany's leaving before me. Uh, I don't leave until like, um, my flight doesn't leave till 5 but I'm showing up early because I like to get there and then get like situated and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I'm actually really sad that this is ending. It's very bittersweet. Um, I know that I'll see them again sometime soon and like they're obviously a click away from a button, you know, but um, it's, it's different when you are surrounded by so many amazing people and 
like talking and getting to know each other this weekend has just been absolutely wonderful and I'm really sad that it's ending and that I don't get to like just get in a car and like go hang out with these people um, but uh, I know that I will see them again this is not a this is not a goodbye um, but I've had so much fun like coming here and staying in the hotel and like just getting to be with my friends and things like that um, so yeah um, Bear and I will be getting I think we're gonna be getting lunch together and like talking and looking at books and stuff so I will try to take a couple pictures of that and um, we're bringing things down to the car now so uh, yeah um, I've been thinking about it like all all day and like part of last night too so I'm trying not to get emotional um, yeah I, it's been a good time Florida hey friends okay so we are going to be dropping off Bethany at the airport um, and then I'm gonna be meeting up with Bear very soon here um, in about like an hour or so uh, we are planning on looking at the book sorry sorry I'm trying to I don't know I'm trying to um, be peppy but really in reality I am kind of sad um, this is very bittersweet being able to be around so many people and so many friends and then having to go home which I love being at home but I also had a lot of fun this weekend and um, yeah so Bear and I are going to meet up around 11 ish we're gonna have a good time and um, hopefully we take some pictures especially for Indigathon I have so many things that I want to show them Look, I am with Bear. I'm so excited. We got to meet up today, and um, so we went to Barnes and Noble and we looked at some books. And then um, you got that really pretty drink, the El Woods drink. Yes. And then, which is funny because like I've been trying out different names, and like I used L on all my Starbucks orders. That's cute. Yeah. Because like, like I like my name, but like I don't like my name. You know what I, I mean? Do. Yeah. So um, we we looked at books. And uh, look forward to Indigathon announcement on October 1st. And here we are announcing it to you today. And um, we're being very safe and wearing masks and doing all that good shit. And hey, funny you know. And so, um, yeah. So that's that. Bye. So I just deleted a video that had like three clips of me talking for literally forever. So we're going to try this again. Um, so I'm back in South Dakota. I came back in on Monday. I went from Florida airport to Minneapolis, from Minneapolis to South Dakota, back to Sioux Falls. <clears throat> and it was a pretty long process. Um, shout out to Margaret for helping me out with all of the directions and checking in and baggage and um and like finding out where I'm supposed to go because I had no idea and I would have been lost in the sauce so 
thank you to Margaret. I know I thanked her like on all three media websites and like all social medias that I'm on, but um, really I have to say like they help me so much. Um, she's amazing. And then I also got to see Bear on Monday too, right before I left. We went to Barnes & Noble. It was super fun. We picked out, um, actually no, I did not buy any books. I just bought a bookmark. I was trying to be really good because I was going back to South Dakota and I was going to Sioux Falls. So I do have a haul of stuff and I will show you some things eventually. Um, and I have some stuff right here. I, I think the most complicated terminal though was definitely Minneapolis. Florida, you and you take a train and it takes you to where you need to go, which is pretty cool. But also at the same time, like, you know, if you if you take the wrong one, that's also scary too. So it took me, I think, like a good twenty minutes to get from where I needed to go to like C sixteen. It was like you go down one hall and then you twist it and you go in another hallway and then you go over to another place and then you. It was just so long. There were so many like standing escalators that you could walk on. I tried one of them, but it scared me. So I was like, I'll just, I'll just walk regular and waited for about an hour and a half. And I had my journal that I write in for like stories and stuff. So I wrote in that for a while and talked to my friends and, um, talked to my family and let them know I was okay. Um, I did call my mom cause it was like, it was late at night and I don't, you know, so, today I am, oh yeah, and then Tuesday, since I came back on Monday night, we stayed at the hotel and then uh, came back on Wednesday, on Tuesday. My, unfortunately, I wanted to do some things in Sioux Falls and from the, like the, you know how when you wake up in the morning and you have to kind of like gauge of how you feel and things? I didn't get to do what I wanted. But I did get some books and like journaling stuff that I wanted to get. So all in all, I'm not like totally dissatisfied. I just wish that I would have had some more time in Sioux Falls. And I made it into Aberdeen about 2 o'clock p.m. yesterday. Um, first thing that I did was go to the library. And so I have some books behind me that I wanted to show you eventually. And then I... Let's see... I sat down with my husband and we watched an episode of Good Trouble that we missed, um, Lego Masters, then we also watched, um, oh yeah, we watched the new Cinderella movie. I'm not going to talk about it right now. I would just say it's like, for me, it's like a four, like a four star. Like I thought it was good, but it's more along the lines of like Ella Enchanted and like there were some things that... You know, why is James Gordon in everything? That's what I want to know. Um, but other than that, it, I thought it was good. I thought it was okay. I'm, And then we also ordered some chicken and mashed potatoes and stuff. It, we ordered from Pizza Ranch. And Pizza Ranch is like pizza and chicken and some other stuff. I didn't feel like pizza, but I wanted pizza. I had I wanted the option to have pizza, but really I wanted chicken and mashed potatoes. So he ordered some of that. We had um, supper while we were watching it, and then after that we watched, um, yeah. I think we watched Lego Masters after we watched. I can't remember. We did watch Lego Masters though, and then we also watched um, an episode of Hell's Kitchen. And then after that, I tried to go to bed. Um, we laid down and Soren was not having it. And so I it, I ended up, after about an hour or so of trying to get him to lay down, I went to my bed, which I need to find my bedding and like my pillow and stuff. I don't know what happened, where it, where it went or where my mom put it or what happened, uh, but I need to find it um, somewhere. Then... I took, yeah, and then went to sleep and woke up this morning. <laughs> so I'm, I'm still kind of tired. I am calling, 
I gotta call the school pretty soon here because I'm planning on keeping Soren home from school. He He's not really feeling that great, but also because I'm tired and I don't really feel like navigating and everything like that. And I want to keep him home just in case, you know, just to be smart. Because um, while we were there, like, yes, the... The Delta, I mean, like the Delta, vi the Delta variant is pretty rampant in Florida, but we were very, very careful when we were sanitizing and like hand sanitizing. Um, I sanitized my bag like as soon as I got to the hotel, uh, and I did not put it on the like. I watched a couple things that were like, don't put your, don't put your bag on your bed because um, you have like whatever germs and like change into a different outfit and like um, change masks pretty frequently and uh, sanitize my hands hand sanitizer like everywhere I went I was super duper careful um, I made sure I got enough like a good amount of rest and like tried to eat pretty well um, and I drank a lot of water so um, I am hoping that things go well and that I don't end up sick within like a week or so. So that's why also why I'm keeping Soren home. And just because I haven't been able to spend very much time with him and I want to clean my room and like, um, I just want to have, I just want to have time like to just kind of decompress. But he did make this last Thursday. So that's cute. Yeah, so that's, that's the Monday portion of the trip. Um, Overall, overall, I will say that I had a really good time, and so we had a lot of fun times, just like chilling and hanging out and being together. And um, I really wish that I would have had more time to spend with everybody. Obviously, I mean, but you could only do so much in four days, and then plus you have to think about what like what everybody else wants to do. All in all, I had a really good time, and um, make sure that you check out both Margaret and Bethany. I know they're, they're going to put vlogs up, which I still have to put a vlog up, but I have so much footage. Um, I'm really, most of this is going to be videos and like some voiceover and stuff. I'm really excited for the next couple of months, um, for the rest of 2021, because I do have a lot of ideas for videos. Um... I decided that I'm just going to throw caution to the wind and I'm just going to do what I want to do um, instead of like what I think booktube wants me to do. Granted there are going to be some videos where I have talks about like indigenous stuff because that's mostly what gets me views which I hate the fact that I have to put indigenous in the title for somebody to pay attention and we talked about that a little bit and that's it's a lot better when you can have nuanced conversations with people in person rather than um trying to have a conversation with somebody you don't know that well online like I now I can say that I know Bethany Margaret and uh Bear and Rachel pretty well um, I am going to be reading this at some point this week with, um, for the live show next sa Friday on the 17th. And, you know, this is 450, 458 pages, but it doesn't feel like that. I'm pretty excited to read it. I got all three. As, you, as you'll see in another clip here. So those were that. And then, um, let's see, what else? Yeah, okay. So I didn't show you what I got when I came home. So I guess I will do that now. You can see me? Okay. Um, I did have a package come for me while I was gone. Uh, Bethany and I were talking and she she's amazing at recommendations, by the way. I have an entire video coming up soon that involves Bethany and her recommendations so um look out for that probably sometime in like October it depends on when I can get the books um I'm hoping that I can request some of them or like interlibrary loan some of them as well so we will see what happens I am definitely more motivated to read than I was before I left all right, so we're going to get into the books. The first one I got was from Bethany, and this is uh, Slave to Sensation by Nalini 
sing and I've actually this is about like changelings and stuff like that um I this is the first time I've ever read a Nalini sing so uh that will probably be in the title as well because I I've heard of her and like a lot of people have like talked about how great her books are and things um but I I don't know yet and I think that I would really will like this um Calvin opened it so I didn't get to like open it myself which is okay it happens now we're gonna get into the books that I got when I did get home from um, Sioux Falls because I did show you the ones that I got in um, in the thing um, also uh, I did get this on Sun no Sunday yeah I got this on Sunday this is the beautiful ones by Sylvia Moreno Garcia and I'm very excited for this uh, since my one of my group chats that I'm in we all really love this book and so I can't wait to be like oh my god I love this too ah! <laughs> yeah I know I'm weird all right so I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got when I came back to South Dakota um one of them I already own. It's just that I want the dip I wanted the different cover. Just I just point blank. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, the Red Pyramid. This is the first book in the King Chronicles series, and I wanted the new cover so badly. I have the old one. I have the old series. It's just I really wanted this one, and I wasn't gonna get more until I finished two and three. So this is like. This is a chonker. And I'm really, um, I'm very, uh, interested to see what this is like because I've heard some people say, like, it's not that great. And I've heard some people say that it's amazing. And so, um, as far as a Rick Riordan fan slash stan, I'm interested to read it. All right, we'll put that receipt. Where we'll put that right there? Okay. The second book that we got is Kristen Kishore's Fire. As you know, I am like ten pages into Graceling by Kristen Kishore, and so I got this next one. I'm not going to be buying um, Bitter Blue until I have like at least like halfway through this one, so that way I don't like you know buy a book when I'm not even gonna read it right away, which is basically everything that I bought. But you know what? Don't judge me. I'm judging myself already and the last book that I got I don't even know if it came out if it comes out this week or if they just put it out early but we have Pahua and the Soul Stealer by Lori M. Lee and this is also a Rick Riordan Presents I don't know how I'm gonna fit it into my on my Rick Riordan shelf but we will come up with something wow that sounds good I'm really excited to read it and it's purple with like this really pretty design on front so that was for what I got at um, the Sioux Falls location for books yeah I didn't buy a bookmark um, I did buy at Hot Topic I bought this Loki pin and a um, Go Grogu pin as well uh, I also bought duplicates so that I could send them to my friend Natalie. So I have this Never Stop Exploring Adventure Awaits. It is a lined notebook and I like it for the forest and I also really like it for the paper and it's floppy. I have this but this has only like maybe like 50 pages left and I tend to run through these pretty fast. And then I also, it was a buy one, get one 50% off. And so I also got this Artist Loft journal because I was going to, what I like to do when I get, see it already has, it has a test page. But um, what I like to do is I like to test, test out pens and gauge like, you know, what kind of margins that you can make in here as well to see if I want to use it for like certain types of journals. Oh yeah, this was the one I got. This is the bookmark that I got on Monday when I was with uh, Bear and Margaret. And uh, it says, you have to dark, you have to dark in order to show light, just like in life, by Bob Ross. And I personally really love Bob Ross. Um, I grew up watching him on PBS, and um, I would even get up, like, super early just to watch him. He is just 
so amazing and um, I haven't really like read a lot about him but I would like to at some point um, I had this really long talk with Bethany and Margaret and there's something that I want to get into a little bit more is nonfiction so um, we will see what happens yeah it's a pretty simple haul from the Michaels there too um, I got these pens, well not pens, they're highlighters. I got this, I got the shades Lemon Yellow, Cyan, Apricot, Summer Green, and Fuchsia. And it's this really bright type. So yeah, that was my haul from that. And I'll show you the books that I got at the library. Um, I tried to find a lot of the stuff that I had seen in um like in the Barnes and Nobles but um I wasn't finding them so I was like well I'll just add them to my wish list <sighs> and we'll see what happens um all right so here's what I got from the library I got four one two three four five six seven eight nine I got nine books and then I plan on checking some out from the digital library um yeah, we're going to get into them. The first we have is If I Never Met You by uh, Mahiri McFarlane. And I don't really know a lot about this, but I know that I wanted to read it because I've seen it in the library. Like, I don't know how many times. So, I mean, obviously that's a sign. Uh, there was another uh, Mahiri McFarlane. There were two books uh, in Barnes & Noble that I wanted to check out, but... Like I said, I haven't read anything from her, so I was like, I'm a little hesitant on if I wanted to read it or not. Her name is actually pronounced Fari. So, uh, I've never read anything from Fari McFarlane, and, uh, so I was like, well, I can do it this time and see if I like any, and if I like more, then I can request them to the library. One thing I like doing is requesting books to the library, because then once it's at the library, then other people can read it. Spreading the love, you know what I mean? Next we have is Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. And I have read this before, but I wanted to reread a book. Next we have is The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. And I've heard I've heard that this is pretty good as well. So why not? Then we have Second First Impressions by Sarah or sorry, Sally Thorne. Wow. Um, I have not read anything from Sally Thorne since 99% Mine, and I did not like that. Um, I liked The Hating Game. I haven't read The Hating Game in a really long time, so we'll see um, if I like this one. Uh, I did check this out last month, but I didn't get to it, and like I said, I'm in a very... I'm in an all-over type of reading mood. I could read a fantasy, and then read a romance, and then fantasy, sci-fi, whatever. Um, I'm just in the mood for reading, so that's why I just got a bunch of books to see what sparks my fancy. Next we have is This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron. And I've heard, um, Neeks talking about this. So, I mean, obviously, if she thinks it's great, it's going to be great. Next we have is Flamer by Mike Curato, and this is takes place at camp yeah and I'm not sure what else it's about it's just it looked really interesting and um, it's a graphic novel graphic novels usually don't take a lot of time but it looked good next we have is Ge gear breakers by Zoe Hannah Makuda and I, like I said, I'm not very good at reading sci-fi or like anything else like that, but I like the concept of it. So I was going to read this and see if I like it, if I care about it, what, you know, what's what. Then we have Daughter of Sparta by Claire M. Andrews. And this also, I mean, obviously if it's got Sparta in the title and a, and a girl on the front, I mean, obviously I have to. So yeah. Like I said, I'm in a everything, like everything sounds good to me right now mood. And so we will just like see where the wind takes me as far as what I want to read. 
I gotta find room for all these books too. I think that's the end of this vlog since I've showed you everything and I'm not in Florida anymore so uh, the next thing I'll do is probably start like I don't know a reading vlog or something like that. Um, we'll see what, what happens okay. Um, so that's that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for coming to my channel. Uh, stay safe. Uh, wear a mask. Make sure you're sanitizing. Don't go, don't, um, don't drive while you are, uh, don't drive while you're sleepy or incapacitated in any way. And make sure that you tell the people that you love that you love them. And I hope that you are all having a great day or great week, whatever comes your, whatever pooks your fancy. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.